Hi, Martin here. Today I want to talk to you about how to figure out what lift your camshaft has. I mean, let's say you pull a camshaft out of a vehicle and generally on an OEM camshaft, it does not advertise the lift on the end of the camshaft. There'll be nothing there. And you don't know unless you can find it in some book and, you know, and hope that is correct. But I'm going to show you a quick way how to figure out what lift your camshaft has. Okay, it's a very easy mathematical thing to figure out. All you have to do is know the measurement from the top of the lobe of the cam to the heel side, which is the bottom side of the cam lobe. After you have that measurement, then you need the base circle, which is the this part of the right in here. This would be this measurement from this side to this side right here. And then the mathematical part of it is you're going to take that first measurement, nose to heel, minus your base circle. And the sum of that, you're going to multiply it by your rocker arm ratio. You're going to need to know what that is. And for the purposes of this video, we're using the 4.7 liter Chrysler motor. And I know the rocker arm ratio is 1.85 to 1 times your rocker arm ratio, and that's going to equal your valve lift. Now I'll show you how we're going to get that. All right, there's only two tools you're going to need to figure this out. One's a dial caliper or a micrometer, and then your calculator. Now, like I explained, so we're going to take our micrometer or dial caliper in this case, measure from the nose to the heel side of the lobe, record that measurement. Then you're going to re measure from across here the base circle of that. And the sum of those two, we're going to subtract. Okay, I got the dial caliper here, set it inches. This is the intake lobe of this and this is the exhaust lobe. Okay, right there. You want to make sure you're getting it right on the very peak there. Go ahead and record that. Okay, now we're going to measure the base circle and make sure you're getting your caliper in there nice and square from side to side. And I got a 17325. All right, now we're going to do the exact same on the exhaust because your exhaust could have a different measurement and that is called a dual pattern camshaft. And I'm coming up with a 1.99. Now in most cases, the base circle of this should be the same as the uh, intake was. Yep, there you have it. Right there. Well now with those measurements recorded, let's go do the math and see what we come up with. Okay, so we got our measurements from our camshaft, which is the 2008 4.7 liter camshaft. This would be 2008 and above. So, this is the intake one right here. We got this recorded. We minus the base circle. It equals the 0.277. That is the actual difference between the base circle and the lobe height. Then we multiply that by the 1.85 of your rocker arm ratio. And we end up with a 0.512. So just a little over half an inch. Now the advertised for this spec on that camshaft is a 0.510. So 
So I'm only off by two thousandths of an inch there. So it does work. I mean, you know, you get really close to what the advertised lift is. Now on the uh, exhaust, we had the measurement of uh, 1.99 minus the base circle equals a 0.2575 times the rocket arm ratio of 1.85 to 1 and that equals 8.476 and the advertised uh, lift on that is 8.472 so I'm off by about four thousandths on that one but you can see this it does work you get really close to the advertised lift on this so you can figure out what kind of cam you got in there I mean it's going to give you the, the lift only uh, to do the duration that's a whole nother ball of wax there we got to get out a degree wheel and it, it's a lot more work all right I hope you all found that helpful and informative and if you did I'd appreciate the thumbs up and if you've never subscribed to me before, if you would, hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notifications of my next video as they come out. All right. Thanks for watching.